In 28 years of marriage, Caroline and Andrea Schwabi say most of their arguments were because of her hearing. For example, Caroline, when are we going? I gave you the address. What was it you needed me to pick up from Superstore again? Last Thursday. <laughs> cool. To Caroline, talking sounded like mumbling, even with hearing aids. She depended on lip reading or on her husband to translate. And as her ears weakened, so did her relationships. You just don't have long conversations about meaningful things. You find shorthand. Last year, an audiologist suggested a cochlear implant, an electronic device placed inside the skull to stimulate the hearing nerves. After months of testing, Caroline got the green light. It's like you're overwhelmed with hope. Because there's no promise about the outcome, but you're so hopeful that it will be better than what you have right now. The surgery was in December, and seven weeks later, the implant was ready to be activated. Andreas recorded the moment. Oh, interesting. Okay, now we are on. <laughs> okay, I thought it was beeping. It's actually just sound. She was officially, as her husband says, a cyborg. But Caroline's brain still had to learn to decode all the new signals. Really like we are hearing a foreign language. We can still hear it, but we cannot process it. Caroline can not only hear, but also can understand on the very first day. First, the 48-year-old had to figure out the difference between noise and voices. Then she had to recognize everyday sounds. I heard the key going in the door. I heard my footsteps up the lino into the kitchen. First thing I did, I think, I opened the fridge just to hear what it would sound like, you know. For weeks, she and Andreas trained together, connecting what she saw with what she heard. Eventually, she didn't have to watch his lips. She could look in his eyes. It's just, it's everything. It's a new life, ultimately. And after decades of asking for help, Caroline wanted to give back. The couple hands out homemade models of the inner ear, educating others about hearing protection and sharing their story on their podcast, My Beautiful Cyborg. My Beautiful Cyborg. When you've been given a gift like this that changes your life for the better, it's so profound. It's just not something you can keep to yourself.